everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Quarter Bash. Uh, today, I'm going to take a look at what's inside this box of miniatures. But before I can do that, I've got to do something about this unruly beard. I'm going to go take care of that. Uh, you watch this intro. Okay, that's better. All right, so here's the story with this box. Ah, this box that is packed so nicely, I can just tell. There's just no movement at all for a box of miniatures. That's fantastic. And you see that it did get some serious damage here. It, it doesn't just look like it fell on the corner. It looks like it fell on the corner into a harder corner that pushed into the box. But you know what? This is packed so well, I don't think it's gonna matter. Um, so here's what happened with this. Someone got in touch and said, hey, I've been watching your videos. Do you remember me? We used to trade records with my record label back in the 90s. And I did remember. So this guy, let's call him Sean, uh, said, I've got a bunch of miniatures, you know, packed away that I haven't looked at in a long time. I'm going to pull them out and take a look at them. I'll take some pictures and send them to you. Maybe you'd want to sell them for me. And I said, yes. So he sent the pictures and they looked great. And I said, yeah, I'll absolutely sell them for you. Send them my way. And so he did. That's what's in this box. And he said, actually, after he sent the pictures, that he found more. So there's going to be some stuff in here that I have no idea about. That's awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this box, see how much of it I know right off the top of my head and which of it I'm going to have to do research on. And then I'm going to get this stuff up on eBay. All right, let's go do this. Okay, let's do this. Let's get into this box without any... Uh, Any more waiting? Using a slightly more useful knife for this one. Never cut towards yourself, they say. on the inside a little attention to detail I like that oh all right you've all seen me go off about packaging if you've watched any of these videos and not really go off but like my friend Aram says he can tell by looking at me I'm not happy and he knows it but this is what I'm talking about people yes this is how you should send a box of miniatures to somebody. Individually wrapped, tightly put in together with a nice tight pack. Nothing is going to happen to these. This is the best packed box of miniatures I have ever received so far. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to move these to the side and I'm just going to start unloading it. So. Won't be any commentary until the end. We'll probably add some of that uh, some of that music that I add, and let's get going on this thing. See what we've got here.
Last one. Ooh, he's pretty awesome. Some kind of devil sorcerer. This is really more than I expected, and I can tell you that uh, it was packaged much, much better than I expected, which made for a lot of work. But uh, yeah, these things are in, in much better shape than a lot of the miniatures that I get. Um, all right. So got some flash on it. These must be the wings here, and then these must be the wings here. Let's leave that for now. Let's get you a better view of what we're looking at here. All right, I'll try to keep my own shadow out of things here. So this is what came out of the box. And let's get in here and take a closer look if we can. We've got some warp spiders in the package. I think I showed those at the beginning. We've got a few other packaged uh, Chaos and Blood Bowl miniatures here from Games Workshop. That's nice. These are all Marvel miniatures. And I remember seeing these when I was younger. I specifically remember seeing this as uh, the Elastic, Mr. Fantastic, I guess. He's not Elastic Man, he's Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four. When I look through here and I see all the heroes from the comics I read in the 80s, these seem like the 80s version. Here's Storm, here's Colossus, there's a Nightcrawler and Wolverine there. I see just about everybody except for the Invisible Woman. Moving on from that. Some skeletons, some dragons, and some cool creatures over here. Bunch of different horses. Like I said, I'll try to keep the Try to keep the shadow out of it as much as I can. Classic, I think this is a storm giant. So mostly these are Rawl Partha, Grenadier, and Citadel slash Games Workshop. And yeah, and what I like about this is there's definitely some in here that you see all the time, and there's some in here that you, you do not see very often. I love these Chaos Marines. It's, they're all kind of stacked up. I'm gonna have to separate them out. I didn't have enough room on the table. These Eldar Swooping Hawks, I believe is what they're called. I get these all the time, but they do very well. They're pretty common. Some of these uh, some of these Chaos Space Marines are not common at all. They're really, really cool. And we'll have a lot of fun listing those. And then just some regular Marines and some, some cool little limited edition sets. I think, I don't know how limited edition this guy was, but it's just him sitting on his throne with his his cape and his guy attending him. These Chaos Snake Men are fantastic. I've had them a few times. I don't know what the deal is with this coffin, but it seems to be a Cthulhu coffin. I mean, am I wrong to think that? Maybe I don't see wings on that. Maybe it's just an octopus, but I don't know what this is. But I'd like to find out. If anyone knows, let me know. Here's a... Uh, a skeleton with an octopus on there on his shield also so we'll see a lot of classic older either Ralph Partha or Grenadier figures here what I did like seeing which was really fun which jumped out at me right away see if I can find him in my very first video about miniatures I talked about the miniatures that I used to have on a little shelf in my room and how the only one I had left was a war pig guy berserker pig I definitely had this guy 
So this brought back memories. I spent a lot of time looking at this guy when I was younger. He was painted similarly too. All right, so that was cool. Um, I've got a cool old dragon that I've never seen before. So it'll be fun finding out exactly which set this is from. Some more pretty awesome 40K stuff up here. Really interesting kind of early version Marine or something. He does say 40K Marine, I believe, on his base. So, yeah, for a minute I thought he was maybe a knockoff, but I don't think he is. And then some scenery, a whole bunch of wings, and a bunch of bits. So, yeah, and then orcs over here. I got some orcs, some 40K and fantasy orcs. And some, uh, this guy's wild. I think this is a Citadel Chimera. I don't know how he's going to go together. He doesn't want to go together very well for a photo. I'll figure that out. Got some, uh, almost like carousel horse looking, uh, unicorns down here too. And a whole bunch of, like, Eggs, creatures in eggs, coming out of eggs. Yeah. All right, you know what? Let's try to get a closer look at some of these miniatures when they're not all mixed in the pile. Here are the Eldar swooping hawks. Unfortunately, one set of wings is missing, which is a bummer. Here's some of the space marines, including these. I've looked these up. These are, I believe, Mark II marines. Some older, weirder ones, which is cool. I haven't ever in my life really had a chance to get a good look at these before, but they were official Citadel Games Workshop miniatures, so that's awesome. This guy's plastic, everything else is metal. Here are the nine Chaos Marines in this set. Very cool detail on these guys. Some painted very nice, too. There's a lot of other nice, random Citadel stuff, mostly 40K. This dragon I've not had before. I'd love to know what he is or she is. I'll, uh, I'll have to look that up and find out. But if you know, let me know in the comments. What dragon is this? Got two of this same dragon. In the uh, video, I mentioned that there's Flash still on one of the wings. And what I'm talking about is this here. Obviously, this little tab on each of these wings, which I think holds it in the mold or something, that has been trimmed off on the red ones, you'll notice, even though they are the exact same wing. So that's interesting. All right, I don't know what this is. I think it's a Chaos Beast from Citadel, I think, but I don't know. Does anybody know what this is? Let me know in the comments if you do. That would be awesome. Thank you. All right, and let's take a closer look at these Marvel characters. Everything is painted pretty well, pretty true to the comics with the exception of the leader. These are all in really great shape, except unfortunately Doc Ock's about to lose that top arm, which is a bummer. I bet that's very common with that miniature. Uh, I doubt I could pack it well enough for that thing to still be attached when it arrives at the next location. So that's... Uh, that's really just my fault for trying to bend it back into place after I unwrapped it. So, yeah, these are going to go. It's two different box sets that I believe are complete from TSR when they made a Marvel uh, comic books role-playing game in the 80s. These are very nice. And one kind of strange one. This has been, uh, I don't know, was this kind of little basilisk or something? I don't know. It has been custom mounted on a balsa wood frame. It has detachable head. It has not been glued in place. And honestly, it's kind of got the look of a, of a Citadel miniature. So that's where I may start, you know, start to go look in to find out what this is. But does anyone know what that miniature is? Again, if you do, let me know in the comments, please. Let's have some fun and talk about this stuff. So anyway... A lot of good stuff. Very, very happy with this. Oh, really? Oh, hey, hon. Yeah, you want to see what I did to the room? Nice. So, well, what, what do you think of my miniatures? Hmm. Yeah. No, take a look. How cool are they? Or are you more concerned about the 
the pile of the paper that was they were wrapped in. Uh, I don't know how I feel about any of it. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Is that a pink dragon? Where? Here? All of them. Well, they're red. You know, there's only so many colors in your painting. Look at all these Marvel figures. Recognize any of them? Um, maybe that's Captain America. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then there's like the Thor. Hulk. There's Thor. There's Wolverine. There's some of the X-Men here. Look, there's there's Storm, the one you remember. The one, the only female character that there was? No, I mean, this would be the version of Storm that was probably when you were watching or when you were seeing X-Men comics. or When we were playing as little kids and the only Actually, girl you know what? character there really was to play was Storm. Maybe that's not right. Maybe that doesn't this, look like Storm. This isn't the Storm, because you were more the Storm. There was from, no white mohawk. Well, you were, talking, you were thinking of Storm uh, X-Men the Animated Series, right? Uh, I don't know. This would have been comic book. This would have been the mid-80s comic Storm. A version of her, anyway. Hmm. All right, I have no idea why anyone would want to play with these little tiny trinkets. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, I mean, it's not really playing with them so much as it is. I mean, like, it's kind of playing with them. It is. Sean, thanks for sending this stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll start seeing these things uh, showing up in the Tuesday totals pretty soon. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Appreciate it.